What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Torrance here and in today's video I am playing in greens. You know I love my greens. We have the Safari Rain palette here from Colored Rain. I have personally depotted mine. Actually I've depotted every single Colored Rain palette that I have. Yeah, I got them all done. Today we are only going to be talking about the Safari Rain palette which consists of these top nine shades here. If you all would like a video on my Color Rain collection where I show you all of the palettes because they've all been depotted and put into Z palettes like this. Um, the Power Collection I have in the Power Palette, but I'm willing to show you all that. I am also going to be showing you a first impressions on the Wayne Goss Lip Collection. I managed to grab one liner, one lipstick, and one gloss before that initial first sellout. And so I am too excited to finally try these because they've been sitting on the shelf. I want to go ahead, jump into this tutorial because I love the Safari Rain palette. And when it sold out, I was so hurt that I wasn't able to use it, but it's come back. So I'll make sure I leave a link down in the description bar below for you to go pick it up. I'm going to go ahead, snatch everything off, pull my hair up. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And we're going to start things off with this shade here, Jungle, and we're going to put that all the way throughout our crease with the Sonya G Blender Pro. Although I use this green eyeshadow in every look, every time I use the Safari Rain palette, green is my favorite, honey. I can't help it. So we're just going to take that all the way throughout our crease. Bam. And look at how that just went straight across like... Color Rain does not play with the pigments, honey. And we're just going to build this up to full opacity. Pack first, buff out later. And look how pretty that is already. No routine, jump to the other side. Next, we're gonna take the Wayne Goss number 18 brush and apply this color here, clay, throughout the first half of our crease. We're going to use that as a transition shade. I want to take this first and press it right above the edges of our first jungle shade up to about the halfway point. I'm going to do that on both sides before I buff it up. And now we're going to go ahead and blend that out all the way up to the brow. For our last transition shape, we're going to use this one here, Congo Basin, and place that on the outer half here above the crease. I'm going to use the same Wayne Goss brush, press it in place first, and then diffuse the edges later. Buff it out.
transition and crease shades on gonna go ahead cut the crease using our next glitter primer morphe m421 brush Now that we have our lids covered, we're going to go back in with our original shade Jungle and fill up our outer V. Just want to make sure I get that done before we go in with shimmer shades. Just going to load our brush up and take it just on one half of the brush and just have it right there. I want to put another shade in the outer V to deepen it up, but this is going to act like a transition shade for that. Do this on the other side. Okay, for lids, I wanna go in with two different shades. On the inner half, I wanna go right here with Green Valley. On the outer half, I wanna go right here with Amazon Basin. And I'm gonna be using my Sonya G Builder 2 brush. And now that we have that first shade on, we're going to go in with the next one. Look at that. I had never used the shade Amazon Basin before. And now I am kicking myself in the butt for it because this is really pretty. Oh, look at that. Now to deepen up my crease, I'm going to take my Wayne Goss number 19 brush. I'm going to take the shade Jungle here to deepen up the crease above the shimmer shades. And in the outer V here, I'm going to use this shade right here, Matriarch. And once I see that line has been softened up, I'll know I have enough. I just want to make sure that green is not covered up in the crease area. Same on this side. Now I'm going to take Matriarch and point it right here in the smallest point of my outer V here. And then just slightly buff it up. We don't want to take it past the edge of our shimmer color. I'm going to do that on both sides. I really like what we've achieved so far. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut away finish the face makeup, and when I come back, we'll finish off on the eyes and lips together. Back in a flash and ready to continue on. As you can see, foundation, everything is done, but we want to finish off on our eyes. To finish off the eyes, we're gonna first take our Wayne Goss number five brush, this shade clay here, and buff that out on the lower lash line. I want this color to be very bold and prominent. Hit the other side up. And just because I can't get enough of these greens, I'm gonna go back into that shade Jungle right here with my Wayne Goss number eight brush and push that right up to the lower lash line. We want this to be as close as possible.
And now for the eye highlights, for the brow bone, I'm gonna use this shade, Lioness. And for the inner corner, I'm gonna use Tigress here, and we're gonna apply both of those with my Sonya G Builder 3. Colored Rain has pigmented shadows, so I wanna go in very lightly first with my brow bone shade, and we can always build up later. Yeah, see, yeah? That tiny little bit, honey, just came through. Gonna diffuse that out a bit. I cannot wait to wear this shade all over the lid. And to make sure our inner corners really pop, this orange is definitely going to grab attention. Look at her. You can even see that little bit there, how bold and bright that is compared to this side. Look at that. Also, just not noticing, I never put any brow gel in, so I'm about to race and do that before we jump ahead to the lips. And now for the lips, I am too excited to be trying these out for the first time because as you can see, still in the box, never pull them out. I was only able to grab one item from each category. The first one is going to be the Essential Lip Pencil. I got that in the shade Sepia. It's this pencil here. I'm gonna make sure I show you all swatches. So let me put this on the hand here. Let's show you what that looks like. The next item is going to be the Luxury Cream Lipstick. And I have this in the shade Lotus. Okay, we have the all black packaging. Wayne Goss right there in the corner here. This is what Lotus looks like. And I'm also going to try to give you a closer look of that lip pencil after this swatch. This is what the lipstick looks like next to the lip liner. This is and last we have the High Shine Gloss. I got it in the shade Chrysanthemum. And this is what this tube looks like here. See, you, uh, see if you can see this doe foot here. Catch a glimpse of this doe foot here. And here's a swatch of the lip gloss. That's on top, lipstick in the middle, liner on bottom. So I'm gonna just go in, follow my normal routine. First, I would put on my liner. I'm a big fan of slightly overfilling them. I have rather large lips, so it's not that it's necessary, it's just I love the effect that it gives. Okay, and upon First use, the one thing I can tell you is I am loving the way this is gliding across the lips. It's not a dry pencil where you're worried about it cracking, but it's not so creamy that you're worried about it breaking. Another thing I'm also noticing is that the color looked a lot more cool toned on the back of my hand than it does on the lips and I'm appreciating that. I tend to just line the bottom lip and slightly fill it in. This is just with liner. And as you can see, that is nude. Next, our lipstick. Gonna just first go in, fill it up in the center and then spread it out from there.
This feels amazing on the lips. I think the only thing for me personally I want right now is just a little more opacity. It just may increase in color as it sits and dries. So we're gonna give it time to see. I think I may even want to go in with a slightly deeper color of lip liner, but we're gonna wait and see what the gloss does for this lip first. Gonna go in, add a little gloss. Personally prefer to add it just in the center whenever I'm wearing a lip color and then just let it spread from there. Catching a hint of mint. Okay, and see, yeah, the gloss is what really set that color off of me there. Cause the gloss is just slightly darker than the lipstick and that helped bring it back. So I don't even think I'm gonna need the liner. All right, so now that we have lips and eyes done, I'm gonna go ahead, spray my face and I'll be back to show you all the final look. And this is the final look. I wanted to go ahead and give you a look of the entire face before I gave you my final thoughts. Per usual, coloring does not disappoint. Like, come on. If you do not have this Safari Rain palette, which consists of these nine shades here, please go get it. When I tell you, for $30, you're gonna get nine pigmented out of this world shades. The formula is beautiful with color rain. It is beautiful. And although all of these shades can be purchased individually, if you were just to get these nine for that at $6.99 a pop, that's going to be $63. Why pay that $63 when you can get them in palette form for less than 30? It just doesn't make sense. It's the last restock. So please, please, please get it. If you get it, let me know because I would love to see any looks you create with this. As you can see, I'm a big fan of greens, but if you wanted to just go neutral, you have your neutral shades here. You have these pop of colors here. I mean, these neutrals here. So go on the lids, this orange and this row here is pop of colors. I mean, there's just nothing bad to say about it. The color selection, the formula, the price, it's all worth it. Please go grab yours. As far as the lips go, to me, I loved every item in the collection. It's just, I personally wish I could have picked different colors. For me, the lip liner formula is wonderful, but I wish I could get just a slightly darker color. So next time I order, that's what I'm gonna get as a darker color of this. With the lipstick, at first I wanted something a little more pigmented, but now I'm seeing as it sets, it does intense in pigmentation, but this is nice. Um, with the shade Lotus, I personally would have liked a slightly lighter color. This is going to be nice for everyday wear. Whenever I'm doing makeup, highlighting and contouring is very big for me. So I like the lips to be a little lighter than what it would be. Lip liner to be a little darker. Blend them together. Now the gloss. I just want this in several other colors. The tube is just so cute. The wand is just perfect for just dot, dot, dot. I personally don't think I would like this applicator to just like load my lips up with it. I want this in like two, maybe three more lighter colors. This is typically how dark I would go for a gloss. It comes off to me on the lips darker than what it is in the tube, but I love it. I love it. I think, like I said, next time, darker liner lighter lipstick and i think i'm going to order two shades of the lighter lipsticks i think that's all that i have to say like i said i recommend all of the products that i've used today i wish i would have got different colors of the wayne goss collection but when it launched i was just throwing things in the basket because i did not want to risk things selling out colored rain i promise you all we've been begging for this to come back it is and it's going to sell out again it is going to sell out again grab you your palette while you can don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you all want to see a video of my Colored Rain collection. I've depotted every eyeshadow palette that I have from them. So if you want to see that collection video, I can make that happen. If you all want to see another tutorial or an updated review on the Wayne Goss items, because I believe the next time I wear these, I'm going to try wearing just this lipstick 
with a different darker liner that I already love and see what that combo comes out like. I'm loving everything. There's no point of taking this look off. I think I'm gonna go run a few errands. I hope you all truly enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up because it helps the channel. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you never miss any videos. And remember, continue to practice, stay blessed, and until next time, bye YouTube.